guys. So this morning I decided to be random and do a my favorites video and kind of do a look with my favorite things that I kind of use almost every day. But if you're interested, stay. All right. So if I look behind, it's because I'm looking at the mirror. The mirror is behind the camera today. All right. So of course, the first thing we go in is with primer. So I use... This is a new primer, but I've been really liking it. And it's the um, Smashbox Priminizer, which is a primer and moisturizer in one. And then I always use my MAC Prep and Prime. Love this, and I'm like halfway out. So let's go ahead and put two nice little pumps of the Priminizer. Focusing mostly on the T-zone. And working it out. And I go in with my MAC Prep and Prime. And then I use another primer, which is a primer for the brows, which I've been loving this. This is the Bravo Conditioning Primer by Benefit. It's kind of hard to look in the camera and do it. I pretty much just brush them where I want them. It's going to kind of dry and keep them in place for you. Once those dry, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my foundation. Today I'm going to use, which I've been using every day, is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And I'm going to go ahead and use a brush, my favorite foundation brush right here. And then I just blend it out. Up next is concealer. And I'm going to use, I've been really liking this. Kind of better than the shape tape. <laughs> this is the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer. And then kind of just make a little bit of a triangle. With the same foundation brush. Make sure I blend it out. I'm going to go ahead and set that. I still haven't love this, but I've been reaching a lot for it, I guess because I really want to love it. Um, but I, I think I've been learning more how to, how to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye with um, the banana powder by Australis. And what the banana powder is going to do is just brighten and make sure everything's in place. That same banana powder, I'm going to go ahead and set my forehead. bridge of my nose just to brighten a little bit and make sure everything stays where it's supposed to and then my chin I'm gonna go ahead and set around my nose too I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes, get it ready for some shadow. Do that and then I use my ring finger, kind of blend it all out. And I'm using the um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Priming. 
primer potion. Use the Sephora Beauty Amplifier. It's also um, like an eyeshadow primer. It's a powder. It just sets your primer and mattifies it, especially if you have oily eyelids like I tend to do. It helps with the creasing. With this I just use my finger to pat it all in. Sometimes I feel if I use a brush, it kind of comes off like kind of patchy like. And then right before my shadow, I actually do my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm kind of all over the place when it comes to doing my makeup, but it's what works for me. Just got to find what works for you. So I'm going to try to do on camera what I can because it's kind of hard. But I pretty much, I just line my brows first. Kind of get the shape that I like my brows to be in. And then I fill them in. I take my spoolie and this helps to blend what you just did and make it look more natural. Don't be too rough because then you'll just take everything off. And if I didn't mention it, I am using my Precisely My Brow Pencil, which I really like this. I have the other one. I think the other one mm, is called Goof Proof brow pencil. I do like it, but the tip is a little bit bigger, so I'm still like learning how to work with it. I'd rather have this one just because it has a smaller tip and it's easier to work with. This one I'm still learning. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get into my bronzer, and I've been loving the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells pretty good. I mean, I'm not all about the smell. It's a decent smell. It's not bad. But I love how soft this is. I love how it's so easy to blend. But I just, I take like a small type brush and I swirl it in, tap off a little bit, and you know, you go right to where you want to contour. I do my line and then I bring it up to blend. And then I also do right here, and I blend that. And I bring it down under my chin. A little bit on my ear. I also go right there. Kind of gives it a little more pout. Now we go in with some blush. I have been enjoying my little pretty vulgar blush from my BoxyCharm. I just I like the color cuz it's not like your typical red or your orange or your pink. It's like I don't even know what to say. It's like a, I don't know, almost like a peachy, like a dark peachy color. I don't know. But I use a little bit, tap off the excess, and then I go right in the apples and I take it back. Don't get scared because I do blend that out. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Alright, then I make sure all the powder is out of my brush. 
I look like a clown, don't I? <laughs> and then I go ahead and blend that out. And I have been reaching for, of course, my BoxyCharm Pure Palette. I've been really liking it. Um, it's actually between this one and my Too Faced White Peach Palette. Um, I love the colors in here. These are not matte. I do have the matte one also. But I love these colors in here, especially this purple one. When I want like a bold look, I always reach for this purple one. But today, we're going to do a natural look because this is pretty much like my everyday look. And uh, my everyday looks tend to always be pretty natural. So, I'm going to... Are you laughing? I'm going to go ahead... And I've been liking my BoxyCharm brushes. I, I really love them. But I'm going to go ahead and use those. And I'm going to use this color right here. It's called Nakey. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Going from the crease and blending upward. You always want to make sure to blend. Alright, after that I'm going to go ahead and take this little, it looks like a packing brush, and I think I'm going to go ahead and go in with Belle, maybe? It's this color right here, right next to that naked color, it's kind of pinkish orangey. I'm going to go ahead and use that for the outer corners and kind of bring that into the crease also. and take the brush I just used and blend all that out. I'm going to take this brush here, which is another smaller like packing brush, and I'm going to go ahead and use Perfect, which is the lightest in the little palette here. I'm going to go ahead and put that all over the lid. And 
I actually think I want to deepen this eyeshadow look. And then again, I'm going to take the first brush that I used, kind of blend that out. I'm going to take that same all over color, kind of brighten this up a little bit. ahead and add bell underneath my lash line taking a small little packing brush I'm just dusting it underneath a liner that I always reach for is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Liner. I'm going to go ahead and try to do one on camera for you guys. Before I go ahead and do my mascara, I'm going to go ahead and set my face using the Peach Perfect by Too Faced. I really, really love this. And it tastes good. So I'm going to go ahead and put some on my cap. Swirl my brush. Not really going to tap as much, but tap a little bit. Set everything. next thing I do is my lashes. First I curl them. I do like to curl them a few times just to make them really really curly and make them stick straight up. Um, mostly the reason I do this is because I'm um, not into fake lashes anymore. I mean, I, there was a time I did wear fake lashes. So I try to make them appear like they were fake lashes. Or maybe that I have these naturally voluptuous <laughs> lashes. New to me, but I've been loving this. But I've been using a lash primer. And this one's by Urban Decay. And it's been working for me. It makes them like thicker and longer. And I've been really liking it. So I do on top and I also do on the bottom. And then I make sure that dries. And y'all know my favorite mascara. And it's the Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. I love it. I love it. If you guys haven't tried it, you gotta try it. You really do. 
it is a banger. I mean, if you don't like clumpy eyelashes, then I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I mean, it's not a bad clumping. It doesn't like clump them all together, but it does a little bit of clumping to give it a fuller look. So if you're not into that, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you want a fuller look, try this. You gotta try it, all right? But I just go right over top of what I just primed. And then with mascara, I always tend to do about two to three coats, depending on how thick they are. But I always make sure it dries in between. Up next we have eyeliner for the waterline. I've been liking this one from the BoxyCharm, the vintage one. I think it smudges out really nice. I mean, I'm not going to like when I have to sharpen this. But I really like how um, light it is and how it, it smudges really nice underneath the lash line. If you're still with me, um, God bless you. <laughs> and I really appreciate it. We're almost done, I promise. But see how pretty that is? It just smudges out so nicely. And it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. I mean, with my eyes, my eyes water a lot, so I tend to always have a little bit of running right here. But with this, I find that it's a little bit less than my usual. So that, that that's pretty much why I've been liking this. Third to last thing is I'm going to go ahead and set my eyebrows. I always do that last, just in case I mess them up and stuff and I have to go back in. But I pretty much just comb them up and shape them. This one is called 24 Hour Brow Setter and it's by Benefit. This is not my favorite, but the color is. I've been loving this color and I love how it looks on me. You, you guys need to let me know what you think, alright? Let me know what you think about this color and how it looks on me. So. And the last thing, of course, we gotta set everything, make it all blend and look gorgeous. So go ahead and use my MAC again. Woo! Alright guys, I went ahead and put some earrings on, put my necklace on, to kind of just finish off the look. Um, thank you for hanging out with me and hanging in there with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the look. I hope you enjoyed my favorites. Um, I'm sure I have plenty more, but these are the ones I always tend to reach to when I do my makeup, minus the lipstick. Lipstick is just how I feel at the moment. I love lipstick, so I don't really have a favorite per se, but this is the one I was feeling today. But comment down below um, any questions or any comments regarding this look and how you felt about it. Um, Thank you again for subscribing. Thank you again for being part of my little family. And as always, I love you all.